Welcome to AQMD on the Air. I'm your host, Alan Caldwell. Joining me today is AQMD Governing Board Chairman, Dr. William Burke. Chairman Burke, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Before we get into specifics, can you provide a brief overview of your vision and priorities as chairman? When I came to Los Angeles a uh, number of years ago, there were s tremendous number of days where we had smog that was just horrific. Your eyes watered, you couldn't play sports. In fact, uh, you were suggested that you stay inside your house to keep away from it. That doesn't happen anymore. Uh, the level of smog has been greatly reduced, but our goal is to eliminate it uh, entirely and that's very difficult with the increasing population and the increasing number of cars. Typically, when we think of the health impacts of poor air quality, we think about respiratory illnesses such as asthma. However, understand that evidence is showing brain conditions and tumors associated with poor air quality. Can you talk a little bit about the foundation you started with the AQMD and how it addresses those issues? When I first suggested uh, that we start this foundation, everybody looked at me like I had a hole in my head. They said, you know, how, how, do you, how, do you, how can you even begin to believe that these nanoparticles are being transmitted from the lung where we breathe to the brain? Well, we're now in the final clinical stages of proving that that's absolutely correct and increasing the amount of brain cancer we face but even more frightening is the fact that we have now developed uh, information that leads us to believe that pregnant women are now transmitting this disorder to their embryos because of the air they're breathing. So uh, this is pretty scary stuff and stuff that needs to be taken care of right now. I know that the health impacts are important but it's only a piece of the puzzle. I know that technology is an important tool in our efforts to clean the air that we breathe. Can you talk a little bit about how technology plays a critical role in helping clean the air that we breathe? Well, you know, this is a, a very interesting, it's like, I never believed that a guy my age would be texting somebody on the telephone. But here, with the new cars that are being manufactured, many times the exhaust is cleaner than the air it takes in, which to me is just unbelievable. And we're finding that as we continue to enforce regulations on stationary sources, that the emissions are technologically done and not by some changing of the process or uh, lessening the production. So this is uh, just an unbelievable uh, modification to our thinking process. We talked a little bit about the foundation and the importance of research, and we also talked about the importance of technology. I want to change focus a little bit and talk about something that I know is very important to you, addressing inequalities and environmental justice. Can you talk a little bit about how the AQMD is enhancing its outreach to the African American, the Latino, and Asian American ethnic groups? Oh, well, we're doing it in multiple ways, but the issue itself is paramount because it is by circumstance that the population affected by the pollution of manufacturing is our least fortunate group, wherever it is. When I first came to Los Angeles, it was 100% black. And then it went to mixed black and Latino. And then it went from black, Latino to Asian. So uh, it's a cross-reference issue to a multiple of ethnicities. So, we uh, have, to, have to get this under control and uh, provide these people with relief. We have 
done outreach to them in the way of newspaper advertising and uh, workshops and communication with community groups, but we're always looking for new ways to get the word out. Chairman Burke, before we close, is there a final message you would like to share with the audience? No program is ever fully complete without public participation. So everyone, every single person in the South Coast Air Quality Management District, whether it's in Orange County or Riverside or Los Angeles or San Bernardino, when they see vehicles em emitting emissions which are obviously disturbing, they have to call 1-800-CUT-SMOG as well as report it to the district in any manner that they see fit. We get everybody involved, we educate our children, educate the middle class, educate those who are being very affected by this, and we'll put ourselves out of business, which is what we want to do. Chairman Burke, I want to thank you for joining us and for your commitment and leadership in helping clean the air that we breathe. It's been an honor and a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Well, that's our show. Thank you for watching AQMD on the air and helping us clean the air that we breathe. Let's work together. Let's work together.